Hi guys, John from BD here today to talk to you about installing a new throttle plate into your X15 throttle valve for the E-Pass. First, let me show you the tools involved in this job. For removal, we'll need a T20 Torx screwdriver and a die grinder angled would be ideal. And that is because when we get into the valve here, the screws are, there's three Torx 20 screws and on the back side, they're crimped a little bit to lock them in place. And we need to die grind off that uh, extruded section down flush with the shaft in order to back the screws out without breaking them. On the assembly side of things, we have a Phillips screwdriver to get the screws started, a torque wrench with the Phillips tip on it to torque them correctly, and then a pair of vice grips here so that we can recrimp the new screws so they won't vibrate out during engine operation. And then lastly, we have the new uh, throttle plate and replacement screws. And the purpose of this is to create a tighter tolerance within the throttle valve assembly so that it seals off nicely when we want to shut the engine down. So just to make things a little easier, I'm gonna mount this uh, valve assembly in a soft jaw vise and position it so I can get nice access to the backside of the screws. Right here is where they're extruded out and they're crimped. So we need to grind those off flush with the shaft. Now they feel pretty good, so now we'll try to loosen the screws. If they stick a bit, you should go back and grind just a touch more off of these. All right, next, uh, we'll just give this a quick wipe out, get any debris out of the, the bore here. And we'll get the new flap ready to go. Now this throttle valve plate, the center hole is offset here, so we need to line that up with the, the shaft. So make sure all three screws will go in. This. Uh, New plate is a little tighter fitting like we mentioned before, so you have to use a little bit of finesse getting it in into the bore here. Just like that. And then I'm gonna wind them in till, just till they touch down, but not tighten them down yet. All right, there we go. All right. This last step is the most critical. We got to position the flap exactly in the middle here. Let's see here. There we go. So just by wiggling it with the screws loose a bit, we can get it to seal all the way around the bore here. Now I'm going to snug the screws down just a little bit so it stays in place. So just before you finish torquing the screws, you can verify that you got the plate centered correctly by closing the flap and either shining a flashlight from the backside all the way around to ensure you have even light or hold up to a bright light and the whole valve, like up in your, up in the sky there. I'm just looking for a little bit of light all the way around here and I am pretty happy with that. Also making sure that we're not getting any bind up when it's closed, it's not binding. Now we're going to go ahead and torque this up. We're looking for 18 inch pounds. It's already preset for me. Sorry, kind of awkward with the camera, but it's all good. All torqued up. And finally, on the back side here, where we have threads sticking past, we're going to need to pinch those down to create a lock bolt situation. I just want to make sure I get a really sharp, strong pinch on these threads to distort them so they can't back out. So I'm cranking up the vice grip until I can just barely click it tight and it's closed. That mimics the OEM 
the locking strategy there. Now that we've crimped the back of those screws, this valve's ready to go back onto the engine. There you have it guys, that's how you install the replacement throttle plate in the X15 throttle valve for the BDE pass. Uh, again, the reason for this uh, replacement on this model is to ensure we get a tighter seal when we're trying to shut down the engine and, and get the engine to shut down in a timely fashion. The factory plate uh, lets too much air bypass uh, and the engine will keep chugging along. So that is the reason there. Uh, if you have any more questions or need some help with the install, feel free to call our tech line at uh, BD Diesel and check us out online at bddiesel.com.